Today we look at the linearity and superposition uh, of uh, the Schrodinger equation and the wave function. We looked at the Schrodinger time dependent equation which is ih cut dou psi dou t on the left hand side equal to minus h cut square over 2m dou square psi by dou x square plus u psi. So this is the Schrodinger time dependent equation. We will see later on we will see Schrodinger time independent equation. This equation is actually a, a linear partial differential equation. Okay, Schrodinger time dependent equation is a linear linear partial differential equation okay so uh, suppose we have two solutions or two wave functions okay the solutions of this Schrodinger time uh, dependent equation is psi the wave function suppose Suppose we have two solutions, say psi 1 and psi 2. We can write uh, psi, which is a1 psi 1 plus a2 psi 2, which is a linear combination of the two wave functions. This is also a solution of the uh, equation. Okay, so because of the linearity of the Schrodinger equation, if you have two solutions psi1 and psi2 which are two solutions of the same equation then the linear combination a1 psi1 plus a2 psi2 that is also a solution of the equation okay so that's about the linearity of the Schrodinger equation next we consider the superposition principle we have two wave functions psi1 and psi2 then these wave functions obey the superposition principle like other waves okay the two waves we have seen superposition principle in light sound electromagnetic waves just like that uh, we have the superposition principle and uh, in the wave functions as well psi1 and psi2 if you have two wave functions corresponding to uh, two different situations they can interfere they can, uh, they can form uh, have interference effect just like uh, we have the interference effect for two light sources if you have two light sources and uh, if we allow to interfere there will be interference effect same thing happens in the case of sound waves water waves as well so like that to the superposition principle uh, due to the superposition principle the two wave functions they can add psi1 and psi2 they can add okay this is illustrated by using uh, an experiment the diffraction of electron beam we have a you know electron beam coming from the left these are all electrons in the electron beam and here uh, it can pass through two slits we have a slit one here slit two here and this is a screen where you detect the intensity of the electron beam okay now the first situation you open slit 1 and close slit 2 slit 2 is closed and slit 1 is open so the electron beam will be passing through the slit 1 and uh, on the screen you will get this this is uh, how the intensity of the electron beam varies over the screen 
which is given by modulus psi 1 square okay psi 1 is the v function of the electron when the slit 1 is open okay the condition slit 1 is open the psi 1 is the v function and modulus psi 1 square gives you the probability which is related with the intensity so we have more probability of finding the electron here and uh, as we move um, from that uh, maximum that uh, intensity or probability decreases so that is shown here in figure a figure b what is figure b you close slit 1 and open slit 2 okay and the wave function corresponding to that situation is psi 2 the function of the electrons corresponding to that is psi 2 and uh, you see here this is how we get the modulus psi 2 square the probability or the intensity okay so that is shown here now uh, suppose you open both the slits slit 1 and slit 2 are opened equation c or uh, the figure c uh, shows when we add these two modulus i1 square plus modulus i2 square when you add these two you will be getting a shape like this you have two maxima corresponding to these two slits which is modulus i1 square plus modulus i2 square that is what you have done here uh, is just adding these two probabilities modulus i1 square plus modulus i2 square but what we get is this okay many maxima and minima and central maxima okay you are getting a central maxima in between the two slits and then um, many maxima and uh, minimas on either side this actually corresponds to this modulus of psi 1 plus psi 2 square so what you are getting is not modulus psi 1 square plus modulus psi 2 square but what you are getting is psi 1 plus psi 2 the two wave functions add the superposition principle the two wave functions psi 1 and psi 2 add and that is the resultant wave function and if you have to get the probability you have to take the square modulus square so slit 1 open the probability modulus i1 square psi 1 conjugate psi 1 slit 2 open while slit 1 is closed probability p2 psi 2 square uh, psi 2 conjugate psi 2 and when both the slits are open okay the wave function now becomes psi 1 plus psi 2 the superposition principle and uh, the probability you calculate modulus psi square which is modulus psi 1 plus psi 2 square which is psi 1 conjugate plus psi 2 conjugate uh, into psi 1 plus psi 2 so you will be getting modulus psi 1 conjugate psi 1 here psi 2 conjugate psi 2 here psi 1 conjugate psi 2 okay psi 1 conjugate uh, psi 2 this is psi 2 this is a uh, there is an error here psi 1 conjugate psi 2 and psi 2 conjugate psi 1 okay psi 1 conjugate psi 2 psi 2 conjugate psi 1 and this one is pro probability p1 and this one is probability p2 and this is uh, psi 1 conjugate psi 2 plus psi 2 conjugate psi 1 so due to the presence of these two terms here the probability is not p1 plus p2 we were expecting p, p equal to p1 plus p2 yeah, the thing is not like that p is not equal to p1 plus p2 okay that is equal to p1 plus p2 plus these two additional terms psi1 conjugate psi2 plus psi2 conjugate psi1 so these terms are responsible for the oscillation of the probability or the intensity so on the screen you have you find many maxima and minima and this is due to what the presence of these two terms okay so the important point that we have to 
uh, understand this. In quantum mechanics, V functions add. Okay, in quantum mechanics, V functions add psi equal to psi 1 plus psi 2. Okay, superposition principle. But not probabilities. We are not getting P as equal to P1 plus P2. We are getting P as equal to P1 plus P2. Then two additional terms. Okay. So probabilities do not add. 